Today's random object. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And click the bell so you'll be notified of upcoming videos. While the first pteranodon wing bones were collected by Marsh and Cope in the early 1870s, the first pteranodon skull was found on May 2, 1876, along the Smoky Hill River in Wallace County, now Logan County, Kansas, USA, by Samuel Wendell Williston, a fossil collector working for Marsh. A second, smaller skull was soon discovered as well. These skulls showed that the North American pterosaurs were different from any European species in that they lacked teeth and had bony crests on their skulls. Marsh recognized this major difference, describing the specimens as distinguished from all previously known genera of the order Pterosauria by the entire absence of teeth. Marsh recognized that this characteristic warranted a new genus, and he coined the name Pteranodon, wing without tooth, in 1876. Marsh reclassified all the previously named North American species from Pterodactylus to Pteranodon. He considered the smaller skull to belong to Pteranodon occidentalis based on its size. Marsh classified the large skull, YPM1117, in the new species Pteranodon longiceps, which he thought to be a medium-sized species in between Pteranodon occidentalis and the large Pteranodon engines. Marsh also named several addition additional species, Pteranodon compass and Pteranodon nanus, were named for fragmentary skeletons of small individuals, while Pteranodon gracilis was based on a wing bone he mistook for a pelvis bone. He soon realized his mistake and reclassified that specimen again into a separate genus, which he named Nyctosaurus P. nanus, was also later recognized as a Nyctosaurus specimen. In 1892, Samuel Williston examined the question of pteranodon classification. He noticed that in 1871, Seeley had mentioned the existence of a partial set of toothless pterosaur jaws from the Cambridge Greensland of England, which he named Ornithostoma. Because of the primary characteristic Marsh had used to separate Pteranodon from the other pterosaurs was his lack of teeth, Williston concluded that Ornithostoma must be considered the senior synonym of Pteranodon. However, in 1901, Planinger noted out that Ornithostoma had never been scientifically described or even assigned a species name until Williston's work and therefore had been a nomen nudum and could not beat out Pteranodon for naming priority. Williston accepted this conclusion and went back to calling the genus Pteranodon. However, both Williston and Planager were, were incorrect because unnoticed by both of them was the fact that in 1891, Seeley himself had finally described and properly named Ornithostoma, assigning it to the species O. Sedgwicki. In the 2010s, more research on the identity of the Ornithostoma showed that it was probably not Pteranodon or even a close relative, but may in fact have been an asteracoid, a different type of toothless pterosaur. Thank <laughs> you.